Hi, welcome to James Miller Lifeology, where you will learn to simplify and transform your life. My name is James Miller. I'm a licensed psychotherapist and a composer. In this episode, I wanted to pose the question of what happens next? So many times we go through life and we make snap decisions and from things that seem like they'd be a lot of fun or good for us, but when we ask ourselves what happens next, when we really think it through, we probably would change our mind as far as that immediate decision. For example, you go out with friends and you have a great time and you feel so excited and energetic, but then the next day you're very lethargic and you don't do anything all day. You lay in bed all day. Or you eat a meal and it's really, really good and you want that third or fourth helping of dessert. But then what? How are you going to feel afterwards? How is your stomach going to feel? How is that going to affect your mood when you're not engaging in those activities that are healthy for you? Or you may want to say something to someone. In the moment, you have the best comeback you could ever come up with. And it makes sense, but then what happens after that? How is that going to affect you? How is that going to affect your time with them? How is that just going to impact or affect you overall? So it's so important to ask those questions. And another thing, you may go, may see the best sale possible. There's 85% off on something. And so you want to go ahead and purchase it, but then what? How is that going to impact you when your bills are due? You have to make payment. You have to pay rent. And, but if you've wasted your money or you've used your money in the moment on something that made sense, it's then going to impact you later on. Or let's say you reach out to, to an ex of yours, and in the moment it makes sense. You're caught up in the emotionality and the nostalgia, and then what? How are you going to feel afterwards? How are you going to feel once that conversation is over with? How is that going to impact you later on? And so every single thing we do in life, we need to always ask ourselves, and then what? What happens next? And when we can have a mindful understanding of the ramifications and what happens beyond the moment and really think it through down to its, to its farthest destination, you will then be able to determine if that's the best decision for you. And I promise you that if you continually have these proactive conversations with yourself, it is good to talk to yourself in this way, then you will find that your life is much more manageable and you may make different decisions with this new information. So thank you so much for watching James Miller Lifeology. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye-bye.